someone who used to date toxic men regularly by choice, I think in real life it's not those either. That's not the answer. The answer is about who you entertaining. The answer is about it's not about what you, it, hold all that you know you are what you attract shit. That's you are what you entertain and if you're constantly if you're constantly entertaining people that are hurting you people that are showing you they're not built for you people that are showing you they're not equally yoked eventually that's you making a decision yeah. and you have to stop making decision that goes against your peace so this video was actually sent to me on Instagram by one of my subscribers and they wanted to know my opinion um, on this manner they wanted to know uh, on this matter, excuse me, they wanted to know if, um, you know, I believe that it, it is that you are what you attract or if it's actually the fact that, you know, you are what you entertain. It was actually a woman who sent this video to me. And um, I'm going to say this. It's both. OK, it's definitely both. You see, you when when people talk about certain things in relationships, I think that sometimes it tends to be surface level. Like sometimes when we're in mid conversation about um, the situation that a person is in right now, I think that people are looking into present day and they're looking at something that has already happened happened because of the cause of something else. Right. So if you're going to say, um, you know, why did the chicken burn? Right. Why did the chicken burn in the pan? It's going to say, oh, well, the chicken burned because the fire was too high. Right. But in actuality, there wasn't enough oil. You know, it wasn't the right size pan. Like there's a lot more things that go into it. And I think that, um, yes, the fire being high could have been a problem, but you could have also turned that pot down low. You could have turned the stove down on low and it could still be sticking if it's in the wrong pot or pan. And I think that my conversation is more focused on the pan itself. Okay, I, I need to make sure that we have the right tools before we even begin this situation. And, you know, a, a lot of women, they have this thing within their mind that they genuinely feel that they cannot be wrong ever in a situation. They genuinely, genuinely believe like, oh, you know, um, it has to be the other person's fault. I can't possibly be toxic if I like toxic men. Like, no, it's not just because I'm like that. It's because I just like people who are like that. But you see, there's something in you that's drawing you to that person. You can say that you were doing it by choice just because you felt like it. But there's something on the inside of you that genuinely felt like that is what you wanted and that is what you deserve. If you are um, a, in a relationship or you keep constantly choosing to date toxic people, it is because you yourself are toxic. You are attracting or even purposely picking people who align with something in you and you like it. That's toxic. Getting with somebody who has a toxic mentality and you know they're going to treat you this way, they're going to talk to you this way, you only can like that if you're toxic. There is not somebody who is peaceful, who is going to, um, you know, openly choose to be with people who talk to them in a certain way, who treat them a certain way, unless they feel that they have those same qualities within themselves. It's not going to happen. That's why most of the time when you see toxic couples, you see the toxicity from both sides because they both toxic. You be seeing this person, you know, she cussing him out, he cussing her out. You know, they doing all of this back and forth because it's, it's something that they created that they, they find fun in it. They find it humorous. It's not funny. It's not cool. It's not cute. It's, it's not healthy. You definitely are what you attract. And I think that the one reason why people have the hardest time um, understanding that or even, you know, having that ideology is because that is going to say to them that they have to now analyze themselves and realize that when they do some research. That they had a, a part to play in certain situations that it, it that, um, you know, it feels more comfort comfortable for them to blame somebody else. So basically, you know, if I have to admit that, yes, I'm toxic and I attract people who are toxic because I'm toxic, then that's going to make me say, well, man, when I said that this relationship was over with so-and-so, 
That means that I had a part to play in it too. Although it makes me feel better in my mind if I say it was only him that did that. A lot of women do that. That's why most of the time when women break up relationship or, you know, break up with somebody and you go back and ask them, oh my gosh, what happened? They'd be like, girl, he was this, he was that, he was trifling. He, you know, he did that. He did this. I can't believe he did this. You'd be like, what did you do? Nothing. I was perfect. And you, you'd be over there with a list like, girl, but didn't you tell me you did this? But didn't you say, but didn't, but remember when you said, it's true. A lot of women have the hardest time um, dealing with the things that they've done wrong in general. And, and you know, you know, what's really interesting to me is that, you know, even if you see a woman who's like that on the job, even if somebody is trying to correct her within her position, that's higher than her. Right. Her supervisor is trying to tell her, oh, you know, you didn't answer this phone call correctly. You're supposed to say this. And you said that, you know, make sure moving forward that you do that. She is going to be sitting there. No, well, I never did that. Well, that wasn't me. Well, I think you heard wrong. No, I did it right. They cannot stand correction. So if they can't stand outward correction, what would lead you to believe that somebody that that um, somebody can tell them what they did and they're going to look within themselves and say, you know what, you're right, because they can't fathom that they could possibly be wrong. Again, that's why a lot of people don't like to lead with the ideology that you are what you attract. They would rather say, no, I just pick wrong. No, I just been choosing people that's wrong. No, it's not really that. It's really because it is. The, you know, the, the, the fact that they would have to analyze, be accountable, take inventory of their wrongdoings, they can't manage it. And interestingly enough, they expect the man to. If you are, if you are in spaces that you keep attracting the same man, you need to look at yourself and you need to see. With all those men, how they're so different, different backgrounds, maybe even look different, not from even the same place. And they have those same traits. You need to get a pen and a paper as a woman and write them traits down. And figure out why those traits resonate with you so deeply that you keep leaving those situations and ending up in the same spot. Because there's some, there's some kind of connection that's pulling you to that person. Or to those people. To people who, who have that, those certain mindsets. It's something. It can't be nothing. It's definitely something. So so that's my opinion. <laughs> that's my opinion on the video. Um, I, I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. And give this video a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next one. Love you. Bye.